coach told me that NFL scouts are coming to the next game. I'm glad he told me that, but then again, now I'm nervous. We are already getting close to the playoffs, and I'm trying to decide whether I should stay another year or go to the league. I mean, my numbers are good enough to declare, but there's always that what if, you know? Anyway, I'm about to head over to the gym and put some work in since the scouts coming to the next game. And I know everybody loves empty gyms. I was killing this workout for about 45 to an hour straight when I got an alert on my phone. And man, let me just show y'all what happened. Somebody broke in my new house. And I couldn't believe it. I'm at the gym just watching everything go down as it happens. So I'm watching him right now. He come from the bushes and he break the door in. And he's already aiming a pistol. So looks like he's ready to kill. Good thing I wasn't there though, right? But look. That's not where he stopped at. He almost went through every room in the house until he found something to take. And look, it's like he already knew what it was and where it was. He went right down to the basement. And guess what he found, y'all? He found my safe. So he robbed me for some money, too. So while all of this is going down, I call the police. And they say they're on their way. But it took them forever to get there. I mean, I end up getting there before them. Because it's like, I want to wait for the police, but then again, I don't want nobody to just be going through and get some more of my stuff. So I try to get there, too, at the same time as the police. So the gym is already about 45 minutes from my house. So I speed all the way there, and I finally get there. And I'm already sweating, and I'm tired, but it's whatever. Somebody just broke in my house. Now, at this point, I'm not thinking with my head. I'm thinking with anger. So I try to go in there and try to see if I could find him, which was a dumb move. But luckily, I got that on me, too. So I go in there slowly through the back door because I don't want to go through the front. And guess what? The man is gone. Man, I don't even know if I want to sleep here tonight. And I got to focus on the game tomorrow, too. What a day this is. All right, we are finally here at the game. You see, I'm trying to hype my teammates up because I know in my own head, I am not feeling 100%. We lined up at first and 13. I didn't even want to play this game because of what happened to me yesterday. But, you know, playoffs coming up, and I still got a ball because I'm still trying to go to the league. Honestly, I'm just going to try to let Shador and Jimmy Horn go ball together. All I can think about this whole game is, like, who was that person? Did he know me personally? Or was it somebody just trying to, you know, go around and rob people? It's like, I'm scared to go home. I'm scared for my life. But I still got a ball at the same time. It's just a lot just weighing on my head right now. And I just cannot focus right now. I mean, just look at me. Look at the routes I'm running. We lined up at second and four. I'm running the exact same route as him. If I would have cut the same time, I could have gotten his way. But at some point, I got to snap out of it because the scout's still here. And honestly, they don't know what happened. They probably don't care. So I'm still got to go out here and get mine. So I picked up a nice little game right here from this sweep. And we finna be rolling. But then again, I still got that beating in the back of my head. And I look at this play. I get right in his way. What could have been a touchdown. And I feel like I'm a red zone threat. So at third and two, I'm calling for the ball out in the red zone. But the defense is right there to break up the play. Now it's fourth down. And look at him. He joined at me. And you see how I snatched back at him. It was like he getting in my head. Plus I got that stuff going on. So now I'm just really throwing off my game. And if you think that was bad, watch this play right here. I think I'm gone, but look at that. He comes and picks it right off. To, this game is not starting out too well. It's only 3-0, but I, but I know we're better than this. So now we down 10-0, and I'm like, hurry up. The clock is going down. So I do my little famous quick slant, and I get the first down. But look at that. I fumble the ball. I am not feeling it this game. I got a lot of stuff going through my mind. It's just not my game. But this team knows that I'm the offense starter. Once I get going, then everybody around me gets going. But if I can't get going, then they can't get going. But luckily for them, it's time for everybody to start going. Touchdown. So now that we got a little bit of momentum, now we at the punt return. And look, I'm breaking ankles left and right. And I get us some nice yardage for the offensive team to come out. 
No, oh, there's nothing new again on this play. I break free. A little bit of holding, but they don't call it. But nice defense. And look, even if I would have caught that, somebody was right there coming up for the double team. Like I've been facing all season. It's double teams. So this right here was a nice pass from Shadur. I don't know how he got that through, but I caught it and broke two tackles for the first down. So as we were walking him down the field, we try to look for the end zone right here, and the defense comes to break it up. That safety is everywhere. I'm telling you, he's not just double teaming me. He's everywhere on the pickup. But just as we want to score that bad, the defense doesn't want us to score the same, and they come with another stop for third down. So now at third and 10, this is the last chance we have to make the touchdown before fourth, and we have to kick the field goal. And we do not get it again. The defense is not letting up. So at this point, we're making a run play, but look what I do. I have jitters again. I trip up. I don't know if my shoes are untied or what. But look at Dylan Edwards getting that nice first down. So I lined up first and 10. I go motion to the left a little bit. I cut out, but look who's open. Jimmy Horn Jr. Hey, if I'm having a bad game, he right there to step up. And if he having a bad game, I'm right there to step up every time. But once again, I'm not 100% there. And look what I do. We in the huddle, we call it play, but in my head, I heard something totally different. I ran the wrong route. So I break free on a slant right there, but he was going to Passarillo for the first down, but the defense stops it again. So Shadur in the huddle, like SOS, let's run the same play. We run the same play, and this time we do get the first down. That boy Passarello, that's a big dude. Now I got to remember that the scouts are here to see me, so I got to make a play. And I do a nice little slant, and I juke left, and I break the tackle. But ultimately, everybody comes and swarm me for the tackle, stopping me from getting the first down. So we in hurry up offense at this point because we're trying to score before the half. And we get a nice first down catch. And we ultimately got to call a timeout at that point because with nine seconds left, we got to make another play. So with nine seconds, I break free and I do not catch the ball. I ran too deep when the ball was too high. And now we're going to the half. So we try to establish the run by giving to my boy Edwards on first and 10, and he goes nowhere. The O-line missed his block and caused a tackle for loss. I want to say arguably, this has been the toughest defense we've ever played against. They are locking everything down. Their corners are on everything. Their safeties are on everything. They're just everywhere. But this is another one of our good receivers that we haven't been seeing a lot from this season, Xavier Weaver. He right there for the nice catch for the first down. He's happy, too. He hasn't been getting the ball this season a lot. But once again, we line up at first and 10. I break off, but look who's right there. The defense is there again to make another stop on the play by doubling me and going to lock down the next receiver. And speaking of lockdown, look at the defensive linemen. They right there breaking through our O-line to get the sack on Shador. So we up 30 16 on this big play. They throw it to me on a slant, and I do not get the first down. I got stopped at the one-yard line. And look, I'm trying to bait the ref like, no, I got it, but I do not get the first down. But who said I always got to be number one every game? Look at my boy Jimmy Horn Jr. on a nice long bomb for the touchdown. And look, I had to race with him. I had to run with him. Touchdown. So now at this point... I don't think the scouts going to be looking too much of me. Like, they see the glimpse, and they be seeing what I've been doing all season. Like, this nice catch I got right here. But honestly, I'm just trying to make sure the team get this W. But what I will show them is how good I know how to break off the defender. Look at this. Ugh, I'm gone. Break his ankles. Nice pass from Shador. Could have took it home, but my legs got under me. But we still got the first down. So I tell Shador in the huddle, look at me again. I might get free again. So I'm free as it looks like, but look at that. He throws a backhand, great swat, and now it's second and 10. Now, I don't know about y'all, but to me, Shador has woken up this half season. Look at these dots he's doing. So on the huddle, Shador like, bro, I got you. We got to make you look good out here, too. So we, we do a screen play. We get some nice blocks. I hit one juke on this defender, and he tackled me, but we get to touchdown. So then we line up second and four. We try to do the same exact play with the screen, but this goes nowhere. It's almost a safety. So coach has some, some questionable choice play calling right here. Try to go for a sweep, and we do get the safety this time. So coming off the safety, 
We are trying our best to at least just stay alive this game. We already got the lead, and we're doing a nice pass. That was almost a touchdown. Good catch, good first down. So I come out here trying to put the nail in the coffin by getting the touchdown. But I don't know if Shador got sacked or what, but the ball goes nowhere. But like I said, some plays, they going to lock me down. But I promise you, they're not going to give me every play. So we line up second to 10. I do a nice crossback route, break his ankles again. Tony toe taps. Tony toe taps once again for the touchdown. So this pretty much coach just thanking me and thanking the guys, saying, guys, don't look like y'all getting back on the field this game. Y'all had a good game, and that's the game. Now, while everyone is celebrating about this good game, I can only think about one thing, and I got that one thing heavy on my mind. Who was that person that broke in my house? Stay tuned.